Hello, dear friends. Chris here. Welcome to everybody. Welcome to any new viewers. Welcome to my True Blues for returning and for your continued support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, so I have an unboxing for you, a quick unboxing of these two um, products, hanging products. It's from GBFKE. But before I open them, I just want to uh, ask you and remind you all, um, down in the description box will be the link to both the Facebook group I share with my dear friend Angie. Um, so join, answer the questions, and it's a nice little group. Um, and as well as my Instagram, if you'd like to follow me on there. And of course, these two products from GBFKE will be linked as well. So let's get right to it. Uh, I'll put that one there and let's go to here first. So I don't want, okay, the thing is covered. So they are both hanging products. So what we get, and it came like this in these two boxes, which I really liked to protect them inside the, you know, around the bag. Um, and it comes with the standard toolkit, the tray, the pen, and wax. We have our diamonds, which are rhinestones. I'll look at that in a minute. And here we have a chain, and we have our hanging product. Put this over here. So this is the behind, uh, I don't want to say behind, but the, uh, I was going to say behind, backside, <laughs> all that, whatever, of two kitties. So we have the little black kitty and the little orange kitty side by side surrounded by some flowers. It looks like they're sitting on a windowsill. Oh, look at their little two tails entwined down here. So right up here is where you put the, that's the plastic by the way. Uh, here we go, see, very sticky. Um, that's where you put the chain to hang it. Now this is only a one-sided, so, um, be wary of where I guess if you where you put it um you probably like for instance a lot of you know just to kind of possibly on a window you probably want to put it on a window maybe where only one way is kind of seen or somewhere else wherever you want to put it it's up to you you can put it anywhere on a wall in your desk anywhere anyway it's super cute um let me get the tape measure out I'll have to do this in inches um to see how what the size is so from about a rough estimate from bottom to about top right there's about nine inches let's say from side to side by eight so not nine by eight inches so it's a nice little size sorry about that um banging that scarlet in her cage she's banging her mirror she's looking at herself and poking the mirror so let's look at the drill field again super clear no problem seeing any of these symbols. It's again that acrylic type stuff. And let's look at our rhinestones. So we have a couple larger faceted rhinestones. Let's see those go in the middle of the flowers. That's a really pretty purple. Wow. Let me see. Yeah. That's like a super light. I would call it an ice kind of purple. I don't think I've ever had that color before. Orange, reds, greens, yellows, the gray. Again, a kind of a grayish black. Not grayish. But gray. yeah, what is that? No, they're both kind of gray, two tone grays. And we have lots of black for the cat. Let's see, see. Oh, here it is. I was under. What color is the cat? I didn't see anything big bag over there. It's in another separate little bag. Again, we have another kind of grayish color, orange, and that's the color of the other cat. Okay. So there we have it. Our first little hanging project. I love these kind of things. Our two. Kitties in love. Oh, cute. Okay, 
head. Let's look at the second one. Again, we got our standard toolkit. We have our chain. This is a super long chain, my goodness, look at that. Wow, this is like, how long, 24 inches? I don't know, that's a really long chain. This. It's a lot bigger too, uh, as well as with the loops. Wow, okay. So here we have our drills, get rid of the box. And we have a peacock. I will say, I when I opened this, I was a little surprised. I thought it would be actually a lot bigger than it is. Again, roughly about, let's say, eight inches up and down. Two, hmm, maybe about five and a half across. So, like I said, I was a little surprised. I thought it would be bigger. Again, it's a one-sided. These have been out for quite some time. And uh, the chain, again, it hooks in over here and over here. And up close. Focus, please. Okay, there we go. It's always fun doing peacock feathers because they always have special stuff in them. Take a look at our rhinestone. I'm going to say a lot of blue. Okay, so first we start out with this very light blue. A medium color blue, a denim type blue. Here as well, very close to this color. Got some clear, yellows, greens, some beautiful marquee, iridescence marquees. Look at those, beautiful. You see the greens and purples and blues in them? Oh, stunning. And finally, these gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I call them like pineapple type. I don't know why, they just, that's what's in my mind. They're textured. These are like sapphire, and they are they're textured, like bumpy sort of drills. Those are absolutely stunning. Wow. We need more of these type in our diamond paintings, people. So, there's our drills for our peacock. So we have two really pretty cute hanging animal projects from GBFKE. I hope you like them. Give them a try. Even they have other kinds, of course. I have shown a number of hanging projects. I just love these. I, I don't know. They just turn out so great. They're rhinestones. They're so cute and pretty. I just, again, great as gifts, either done or undone. Um, great for... Uh, in between projects, beginners, all that kind of stuff. So these are great little projects. Um, and they came in the box, which I really appreciate so they didn't break. Okay, so thank you so much, GBFKE, for these cute little hanging projects. And thank you all for watching. Th again, to everybody new here, thank you for joining, hopefully, my channel. Um, for all my returning viewers and friends, my True Blues, thank you for your love, support, kindness, and friendship. It um, means the world to me. And um, yeah, so again, subscribe, like, share, all that youtube -y stuff. And uh, comment, comment, comment. Let me know what you think. How do you do these? Do you like them? Are you going to go get them? Do um, you hate them? <laughs> Anything. Just let me know what you have to say. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so thanks again. Until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy. Stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys. But wait, there's more. And there might be actually even more after this. So, I forgot something. Look it. We have a googly eye. Focus, please. They gave you two of them, of course. <laughs> and four, they actually gave you four. 
Oh, the peacock. Excuse me. Oh, a tickle in my throat. Mm. I don't know if I'll use that though. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'd use this. I think it may look may look um, a little cartoony. Um, I'll have to see. And you could always, again, we probably have tons of, I'm sure somebody has some left over, um, some sort of um, rhinestone or faceted type um, that you could replace it if you didn't like the googly eye. But yeah, they actually did give you a googly eye with this. How crazy is that, right? Now, I will say this, I'm kind of, I'm not in a slump. However, I'm not loving the one I'm doing. It's super million confetti and uh, I don't know, as my dime painting life has gone on, I realized, well, I don't need massive color block. Sitting there doing a complete confetti painting is really difficult for me. So I started it. I'm going to, of course, finish it, and it's going to look beautiful, I know, but it's going to take a while. So I possibly might get one or both of these done. I'm probably going to do this one for sure. Probably not this one, but you never know. So before, by the time you see this, this will probably be done. So if it is, stay tuned because there will be another clip. And in case there's not, sorry about that, but I'm sure it will be done. All right? For real. Okay, so either goodbye or hang on for another clip. And I'm back for the third time because I did finish both of these projects. Now, you see, I have been working on um, my regular diamond painting. This is actually only the second day. Well, backtrack. I worked on it for one day. The confetti is so much, it took me out for three days. So today, so I did these two projects from GBFKE over the weekend. Now Monday is when I'm filming the finish because I did these one on Saturday, one on Sunday. And uh, that confetti project is just killing me. Anyways, you don't care about that. You want to see what they're done. So here is what I did on Saturday, I think. I did the peacock. Look how pretty. Again, it's one-sided. I put the chain on this one. I did substitute out the for a different um, extra gem. They remember it came with the googly eye, so you, you know they have the a little bit of yellow in here, the blue, or no all blues, and a little bit of a green. The beautiful marquee is there, and of course the best part: these beautiful textured gems very nice so there we have our hanging peacock and we also have our two kitties so we have our black cat it's nice that they have some shade in there some a couple different colors there things out there uh a border over here for where the cat is and of course they're sitting on like some sort of ledge or windowsill with a bunch of flowers and their little tails entwined. How cute. Again, same thing, one-sided. I didn't put the chain on this one though. And uh, there we go. Yeah, so these went super fast. Um, I timed this one actually. I never time how long it takes me. This took me just about um, slightly over an hour, I think, to do this one. I didn't time this one. Uh, yeah, so two great items from GBFKE. Thank you so much. Thank you all for watching. I'm not going to go through the whole ending again. So until next time, everybody, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.